Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Cross Balance Cup 2021. Let's uh, let's go. So the 32 decks are pretty much set, but the deck lists aren't so again like always. Um, pretty much every day uh, unless something comes up. Um, I should be uploading like, you know, the, the next four decks of each group. Uh, today we start of course with the first group being Group A. As you know, the Cross Balance Cup will be, um, you know, like divided in two parts I guess even though it's one cup still um, as I mentioned in the previous video but the cutoff year will be around 2014 so not 2013 but I mean you know the change of um, I, I, I just want to give like older decks more uh, chance and um, I'm honest, I really like it. I, I see my roster here, the 32 decks, obviously you not, but you know, they will be revealed during the next upcoming days. But group A, let's, uh, you know, dig in. The first one, we have a deck that kind of missed out, um, you know, in the previous uh, edition, but um, it's back. And it's uh, not GOAT, even though it's like um, a, well, a deck that's pretty much from GOAT format as well. And that's Reasoning Gate dot deck. Again, the deck list you see here, it's, um, well, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to, I guess, Diamond 2 Turbo. You're heavily focusing on a Dark Magician of Chaos. Fuse earlier is uh, in the deck as well. You have Sacred Crane, also a very old school card. Dimension, well, that's basically the key card, right? Dimension Fusion, Metamorphosis with your full extra deck, Monster Gate Reasoning, you know, Scapegoat, and so on and so on. So very similar, pretty much a deck from Goat format, but this is not Goat Control. Again, it's like, like hard as you know which one I mean or um, reasoning gate dot deck so this is the first list again if you have any opinions if you have better lists um, changes I should make feel free to leave them down below the second list is um, I think a very big name the name is quite big but uh, I feel very no nostalgic as well especially for people who played around that time of period it's a deck list or a deck from 2007 very early and uh, for me back then I played during that time it was a huge shift of meta game we were you know like uh, used or uh, used to play like very slow control based decks but then um, I believe it was the duelist pack uh, that uh, you know like from Jaden I think that was released back then but long story short uh, machine beat the or the more famous name I guess Troop Dupe Scoop again from 2007 this is uh, The uh, Poonsambit I believe the name is I, I, it's, it's a very well known player especially from back then one of the best players um, ever uh, especially if you played back then um, but yeah pretty straightforward again huge machine beatdown dot deck <laughs> the deck list speaks for itself the third list, uh, this is an interesting one, a deck that also got a lot of votes, but um, we uh, are able to play this pre-errata by the way. So we have a deck from 2010, what, 2010, 2011 actually, this uh, deck list I believe is from Sean McCabe, one of the Shonen Jumps I think back in 2011 and that's X-Sabers or XX Sabers but very important with the Dark Soul pre-errata so that means you can trigger the same Dark Soul during the you know the same end phase multiple times equal to the amount uh, that it's you know sent to the uh, graveyard I believe from the field to the graveyard it will stack and you know post errata that doesn't work it will only trigger once during the end phase but again this is um, a pretty straightforward list for back then same for seven tools of the bandit and as I mentioned before the side decks are again included and last but not least i feel this is um this is a big one and i believe something different compared to the past years of all the series of the cross balanced cup but i'm excited and especially because of the side deck inclusion uh, ever since i believe last year i'm going for it i i just want to see how how, how it's, it's it's going to do and there are more decks of this caliber uh, of deck in the Cross Balanced Cup, but um, I'm excited for this one. And that's 2012 uh, Exodia, but um, this is, you know, Jarrell Winston's list from Worlds. Back in 2012, if I'm not mistaken, that was like in sector format. I believe the mirror match in the finals of, you know, Stefano Mimoli from uh, Europe, from Italy. Um, I believe he lost against uh, the, the Japanese player, I think. But I believe it was an in sector mirror match. But long story short, Jarrell Winston ended up top 8 at Worlds, the World Championship with Exodia.tech. Um, and again, because the inclusion of the side deck, I eventually went for this one. But again, as always, if you have any opinions, better lists, um, you know, like comments, feel free to leave them down below. The deck lists are not set. 
so feel free to leave feedback. Tomorrow, the next list, the next text will be revealed and then we start off with group E. So that means we are going to reveal, um, you know, like the, the four big decks, like, like <laughs> ridiculous decks post 2014, right? Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.